please welcome back to our show our friend Star Jones. <laughs> Dress star. Thank you. I got your yellow memo. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. You're looking all uh, Broadway ready. Lemon. Yes. Yes. I'm ready. You ready? So let's talk about this legal stuff, counselor. Yes, indeed. All right, Chad Ochocinco. Oh, um, I just in hot talking topics. About him. Mm. Can a judge really? I mean, I know she did what she did, mm -hmm. but it, 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 it's will it courtroom. stick? Um, okay. Everybody needs to understand there's a couple of differences. Okay. A football field, you do what you want to do. Uh huh but there are rules on what you can do. A courtroom, you do what the judge says, because there are rules in what you can do. Yes. There's a certain level of decorum that comes with a courtroom, and when the court is about to sentence you on a head-butting case, that's what he was there Against for. Against your ex-wife, Evelyn okay. Lozado. All right, and the court is entertaining, not sending your behind to jail. When you're standing there, you need to have contrition, remorse, and take it seriously. Not slap folk on the butt, okay? <laughs> That's just it. The judge made it very clear that this is a serious matter, and not only did she want to convey it to Mr. Ochocinco, but she wanted to convey it to people out there. All of us. Yes. Look, when you're in a courtroom, it's because there's something serious that has occurred exactly. to bring you behind there. So let's talk about Sierra. Many of you might not have heard this. You know, Sierra Ooh, was Lord. served legal papers while on stage dipping it and doing it. <laughs> okay, we have the B-roll. Just take a look. Okay, yes. there she is dipping it and doing it. And then there's a fan in the front row. I guess she's thinking she's getting a love letter. She looks, she sees, <laughs> you've been served, and she gives the papers back. Now, what I want to find out from you, Star, is has Sierra now officially been served? Yes, she has. Because she touched those okay, papers. Okay, well, more importantly, this, see, this is what happens. The only thing that a lawsuit requires for service is that you, the person who is doing the suing, cannot do the actual service. Okay. So if you sue me, Wendy, you can't walk up and hand me the piece of paper. Oh. I can't walk up and hand you the piece of paper. Uh -huh. I got to get somebody else over 18 to do it. I usually provide where you're gonna be, where you live, where you park your car, where you go I shopping. Know. When I was, uh, yes. I was married, I told you this for five months, and the way I got served, I was working at the radio station, and it was a box of high-end sneakers. It was in the sneaker box, and I thought they were coming to give me some sneakers, and this little man was sitting in the lobby. Literally, I showed right. up at work, mm -hmm. and he goes, hey, here. Well, as a radio personality, you're always getting stuff. Right. So, so I said, hey, sneakers. There was a brick in it for the weight, right. and then inside were the divorce papers. Right. And, I was like, oh, wow. And all they have to say, and all they have to says you've, been, you've served. been served and see here's the best part because normally the process server has to write down how they affected service well they don't need to write it down it's on videotape they yes. got it honey yeah so now um why was sierra served all right so the background on the case is apparently she was contracted to perform at a uh, a, a venue and she or her people pulled out her side says they pulled out and gave the requisite amount of notice. The other side says, no, you didn't. What we do know is the other side continued to promote her appearance. Now, whether or not they could have promoted her appearance and led the public to believe Sierra was going to be there when they knew she wasn't is where it's going to come down. Okay. And so they served her, and that's the way See, they got So that's how, you, that's how you start a lawsuit. You file the lawsuit, then you run in, and you have to serve the person, and then the lawsuit begins. You're basically saying, yo, I just filed this lawsuit against you. So if, if you avoid putting your hands out and taking papers from anybody, then you, it'll take forever well, to be served. You know what? Actually, the law says if you go up and you say, hey, you've been served, and you drop it on the floor right there. I'm not touching that. Okay. No, but you have already acknowledged, look at me in the eyes. Don't, don't act like you don't know I'm getting ready to hand you these legal papers. And that's really... Oh, smack. Yeah, that you really can't get out of it. If you're just not in the vicinity and you avoid service that way, that's different. Okay, let's, let's move along. I okay. want to talk about the Jacksons. I, I heard uh, you. Do, I'm sorry. Uh, do, does, uh, does Debbie Rowe have a good chance to become Paris's guardian? You know what? I don't know enough about what relationship Debbie Rowe has had with Paris Jackson mm -hmm. and or uh, the, any of the other children, the court's going to look at what's in the best interest of the child. Right now, the grandmother and an uncle or a cousin is sharing custody or sharing guardianship. Mm -hmm. The judge only considers 
what works for this kid. And obviously, if you believe any of the news reports, that she has been sort of crying out for help. I've never been a big fan of Paris Hilton, uh, Paris Hilton, Paris Jackson, or any young person being a part of social media to the extent where adults are following her. I don't understand. This is a child. If you're a grown up, go follow somebody else. Let this child live her life. That I don't pray. I don't yeah. like. Yeah. So, <clears throat> and I think what she's done is she's sort of manifested her teenage angst in the middle of social media. So it's very difficult for her to sort of find her place. Yeah. And the court may be looking at whether or not the grandmother and the uh, uncle cousin can actually supervise her. Um, I want her to get well, and I want the Jackson family to focus on those kids. That's just my, my, my feeling, you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially with this court case going on. And, yeah. Wendy, you know I was never a big fan of this court case going on because I just felt very strongly that it was going to bring up so many issues that could, in fact, tarnish Michael Jackson's I, image we, anymore. We have 30 seconds to remind you of the court case. Then I want to talk about your Rhonda's Roll project. The yes. court case is that um, the, the concert promoters yes. for that last big concert that, that mm -hmm. Michael did, um, the, the family is suing, saying that you hired this quack, Dr. Conrad yes. Murray, and you knew that his credentials weren't good, and, and he's the one who right. allegedly, you know, killed Michael or harmed right. him, whatever. With, and, oh, no, and, he's been convicted, killed. And, okay. and, and the concert people are saying, no, 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 no. Murray was already Michael's doctor. Michael wanted Mary there. So it's disgusting. And, you know, again, um, you know, it's Michael's is consuming the family and it's really hurting this little girl. Right. Let's talk about your project, Rhonda's Rules. And you know what? Uh, I know a lot of people have heard me over the past uh, week and a half talking about uh, one of my sorority sisters lost her sister in a tragic homicide in Michigan. It was a horrible, horrible murder. And she, her name is Rosalind Rhonda Ransom Lee. And Rosalind, Rhonda, left three babies, um, motherless, a nine-month-old, a six-year-old, and a 12-year-old. And we still don't have answers as to what occurred. The police are really working hard, but I wanted something good to come out of it. So with the family's permission, I created Rhonda's Rules. And it's for all of you women out there, in case the unthinkable happens. Is there a website? And, there, and you can go to the website, and I, I put it in the free area at NAPW.com. Just hit Star's Corner. But what it is is, you know, Wendy, we all know, let's get a will. But only 40% of us have wills. 40% of women have wills. Um, we know we need to have our bank accounts categorized, but do you have on, in a list all your passwords right. to all your websites? Do so your you, family know where your bank accounts are? Do you know where your secret hidden stash because you didn't want your husband so to know where it was? Go, do you know where to, that to is? To go to the website um, at Rhonda's Rules. Ron, you go you go to NAPW.com, hit Stars Corner, and you can have the list, the checklist for what you need to do to prepare you and your family in case the unthinkable happens. Sorry to hear about your friends. Thank you. Look, for more information, on Rhonda's Rules, please go to wendyshow.com.